it's the cute coffee gal and I am back with week four of my Sims Next Top Model series. We have Randy is just now sitting down to watch the episode uh, for the pajama episode. Um, and so here you can see that we've got uh, our competitor Randy in her super comfy pajamas that we saw at the end of the last part. And they're about to announce the winner. And it is... Ivy! So Ivy won the competition this time. That's another member of the pink team who is going home. So we've got Brandy here in the evening on Friday. She's made it through another week of the competition. Feels a little bit of the pressure off from that. So that's very, very good. I'm going to have her kind of get ready for uh, the evening, if you will. Get all of her needs taken care of. Let's see if she's got work tomorrow. She does not have work tomorrow, so we might have her go on another little date with her uh, budding romance. Let's see if we can get, uh, where is he? There we go. Paolo, let's, um, no, not invite the club. Let's, actually, let's see if we call, can we like call him on a date? Can't remember. No, we can just like call him to hang out. So that's fine. We'll just invite him to hang out at the current lot and then we'll ask him on a date. Um, and we will go somewhere for that. I do uh, want to try a restaurant. So I actually might need to hop into the gallery real quick and download a restaurant and put it into the game somewhere so that we've got somewhere to go grab dinner at. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I've added um, Shay Lama into the game um, in the same neighborhood in Newcrest where all of the shops were. So we just need uh, to have our boy show up. There he is now. So let's go ahead and greet him. Quit doing your, uh, your push-ups there, Miss Randy. And then I feel like, yes, give an apartment key to a friend is the last thing she needs before she... Uh, moves up to the next level in her aspiration. So I actually think that their romance is high enough at this point. Like, look at it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give him... Uh-oh, he needs to be reassured. Uh, but I'm going to give him an apartment key, too, so that he can come over whenever he wants to. Where? Let's see, we can brighten his day. How do we cheer him up? Isn't that a thing? When they're feeling a little down... Let's see. Discuss embarrassing mood. No, we don't want to embarrass him further by doing that. Um, oh, well, I guess not. Um, but we do want to give him a key, and then we're going to ask him on a date. Oh, his mood's better anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So let's go ahead. We're going to hop over here, do the apartment key thing. Yay! Milestone complete. All right, so other things she will need to do. Achieve a level three in singing. Light fireworks at humor and hijinks. And use a bubble blower. Okay, so that's mostly festival stuff. We can definitely do all of those things. So, But let's go ahead. We're going to ask Paolo out on a date. Um, We want to... Oh, no, wait. That would probably be under romance, wouldn't it? Ask on a date. Yes, please. And we're hungry, so it works out well. <laughs> so I've got them going over into Newcrest. And I have put it right here next to one of the uh, spas. I think this is the spa that we wound up going to, but this was another spa that I had downloaded to get some options. And here's some little shops that we've been to. I think this is the one we went to when we were, um, when we were shopping for bathing suits, if y'all remember that. So... Oh my goodness, this is so fancy. She's got her, like, glamorous formal wear from that Team Purple photo shoot. So we need to go ahead and let's request a table. Where should we sit? Oh, look at the lovely piano in here. It's just so nice. How about this intimate little uh, table for two? We will request that. And Paolo needs to change out of his jeans, but it looks like he is popping into the restroom first. So we will... Let Randy get the table for us here. Love all of their little snazzy tablets and the little 
suits and everything and the menu. I haven't played a whole lot with Dine Out, um, so I do think that this is a lot of fun um, to actually come to a restaurant. So uh, it's interesting. I have all of the packs for The Sims, but I find that I keep using the same features over and over again. And so like, I get some variety when it comes to like create a sim, buildings and stuff like that. But I don't wind up using all of the features, so I'm glad to be doing this at this point in time so that I can have the opportunity to play with everything, so. And now Paolo has changed, and he is looking super snazzy. So let's go ahead. We do need to socialize with him a little bit. So we'll go ahead, and we'll do some flirting, and we will confess our attraction, and we'll compliment his appearance. And then we'll need to order our food. So let me see where is the waiter for us to order our food. Maybe this one? No. Restaurant. Um, order for the table. Sure. All right. So we definitely want to get them all of the things. They're on their fancy date and she's gotten paid. So she uh, has some money to spend. What do we want to get for drinks? I think that Randy is going to have a nice glass of wine. Let's get her, let's get her this one right here. And I am going to have, he's going to have, he's going to have the chef's choice. So we've got drinks for them. Appetizer, <laughs> savory bacon love petals. That is hilarious. So she's definitely going to order. Actually, I think they're both going to order the charcuterie. Um, that sounds amazing. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then we'll order our main course and our dessert a little bit later. We'll just get us a little appetizer to start off with. And we need to have deep conversations. So let's see. We've got... Where is... Deep conversation. We'll do this twice. Keep clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. And we will continue to socialize. Ask about love life. And we're going to uh, ask a risque question. Let's do some friendly ones too. I do want them to be better friends. Ask about day. So it looks like all we've got left to do is just socialize about the meal and the food hasn't even arrived. So that's not too bad. We got plenty left to do, um, <laughs> but we're almost to gold already. I love that. And maybe this is our food coming? Yes, it is. Excellent. Whoa! It's like, got like, look at that. It's It's got like fireworks on it or something. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. So let's socialize about our meal. We definitely need to do that. Uh, take a photo of an experimental food. And then let's, let's see, we've got friendly, um, where is the stuff about the food? All right, I know it's in here somewhere. There we go, relish dis dishes, something nature, cuisine nature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that was. And then we're also going to continue talking about the food. Where else? Debate flavor profiles. And we can uh, comment on bold flavors. And then hopefully that'll get this gold ticked off and done. And we can just enjoy the rest of the evening at that point. Never exit. And it said there was a photo in her inventory from when she just took that photo. So let's see. Yes. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay, cool. So we've got that photo for later. Oh, and it looks like he is enjoying it. And he already drank his drink. Goodness. And let's actually, while we're still uh, eating here, so that we don't have to wait like a million years, let's go ahead and order some more food. So that um, we'll be able to have that come on out um, before we are, you know, too far done with the evening. Don't want her to 
to get to the point where she's just like over it and they don't want to sit around and eat anymore. So, <laughs> but he is like chowing down. He must've been really hungry. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to order. Let's see. What do they want to have as their main dinner? We can have, I think that she's going to have these beet noodles. Um, it's interesting. She eats vegetarian a lot. She's not a vegetarian, but I feel like she's going to be really, really healthy and health conscious because A, she's really active, but then also she's a model. So I feel like that makes a lot of sense for, for her. I'm going to have him order maybe this brisket. Um, what else is here? Oh, this is kind of cool looking. That's interesting. Like a little present almost. Actually, I kind of want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to have him order that. Can they get dessert too at this time? I don't know. If that changes, it does. It changes her order. So we're not going to do that. Um, We're going to have her order that. And then they're also going to go ahead. Let's get, oh, look, there's a new chef's like recommendation here. The meat crisps. Um, <laughs> And then we're going to have them order another drink uh she is gonna have another glass of the wine she really liked that he is gonna have something different because we want to have lots of different experiences how about a dim and gusty i don't know what that is but it looks like a a fun cocktail so sure why not and then i wonder if this like gives her more of the recipes because it said that she could now cook this exotic recipe and we do need them to make sure that they kiss before the date ends so that we get that ticked off of our little box here but then they can sit back down together and finish their meal i wonder where everybody else is oh we've got another option here let's uh give them a massage sure why not um it's like such an awkward oh we could ask to be boyfriend well there you go Oh, he's blowing kisses at her. That's so sweet. But, like, the whole restaurant is empty. Like, it's a Friday night, kids. I don't understand. Where is everybody? Like, why is this restaurant completely empty? And there's nobody playing the piano or anything. It's just kind of weird. All right. Do we do all the things? We did all the things. She's going to ask to be boyfriend. And then we're going to sit back down. <laughs> so is this working? Yay! They're dating now. Excellent. They are having a blast together, and they're going to continue doing that because they're now official. It's on Facebook. Um, <laughs> and we have a legendary date. That's excellent. And here is the rest of their food. Perfect. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. It's like got holly next to it. It looks just like a present. <laughs> so it's time for the romance festival again. And Paolo just like came over for game night or whatever. Wait, hold on. No, don't run away, Paolo. So I just thought it might be kind of fun for them to like go to the romance festival together since it's literally in her neighborhood. So let's go ahead. Let's find something for them to do here. They can get a drink together. She still hasn't gotten a call from the producers, but I have a feeling she'll probably get that call in the middle of the festival. So we'll kind of be paying attention to her phone for that. And she's coming over here. She's been really bored all day long. Let's see. Club gatherings is what we need. Okay. Well, maybe we could have a club gathering tomorrow then um, and have them all work out together. That would be, be a good thing to do, probably. What is this? This is... Some sort of treat of some kind. I wonder if that's what they're selling at this little stall here. Um, but let's have them go ahead, do a little bit more socializing. Mention the flirty festival vibe. Describe a flirty dream about Paolo. There you go. This is just fun. I love all these little interactions. That's cute. And now she's all confident from her drink. Oh, no, from being snobby. Oh, she's throwing the petals. It's so cute. I love that. Where's the tea? Let's have them drink the tea and get them in, like, the crazy flirty mood. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there's fireworks. Oh, no, but she needs to set them off at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. That's not, not this festival. Where is the tea? I know it is around some... There it is. There it is. By the guru. Let's come and uh, drink the tea together. Maybe she should talk to the guru again now that she has a man in her life. Maybe that would be a good move to talk to him and see if he's got a different outcome for her. 
Let's see, where is he? Oh. Ask Guru about current relationship. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. After she's done drinking her tea, where'd she go? There she is. Gonna come on over here. We'll see how this goes. All right, Oguru. How how are my boyfriend and I doing? And he's saying that looks good. Something about journaling, doodling hearts. Ooh, fire. Does that mean like? Passionate fire. Oh, some flowers. Oh, she's thinking good things. Look, she's got a little thumbs up there. All right, so what did he say? He said, a match made to last the ages. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, and she's just gotten her phone call. Okay. So it looks like... Oh, interesting. Formal wear is going to be the photo shoot, and it's going to be taking place on Monday. So... That is good to know. We will definitely have to go shopping then and grab that outfit. We want to make sure she's got something really pretty um, to be able to wear. I think that we're going to try the wig thing again because it does seem to be helping us. So maybe she'll wear the same wig that she wore for the Pisces shoot when she looked like a mermaid. Because that's the one when she got like second place. So let's give that a try again and see how we do with that one. So they've just gotten back from the festival, and she's asked him to stay the night, and he's going to. So that's their their first sleepover, and of course the first thing she's going to do is clean the toilet, because <laughs> that's just kind of how that goes. Um, oh, look, it's nighttime, and her little snow globe looks so pretty. This is from when she went to the romance festival last time, I think. Oh, no, no, she found this in a... Um, in a whatchamadoo, Bobby, in a box uh, downstairs somewhere, so... Um, so yeah, we'll have, uh, they're going to have the night together and then we might do a gathering uh, tomorrow, but she also needs to get her dress. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and skip ahead until Monday when the photo shoot takes place. All right, so she's headed off for her fashion shoot. This is what we've got Randy wearing for her formal wear. So it's this gorgeous long gown. Um, it's a mermaid style gown, but it's not like a mermaid costume, which is basically what she was wearing before. Some fun jewelry. She's got like a whole bunch of necklaces on. Some really red lips. She's feeling pretty good about herself. She's really liking this outfit. So i um, excited to see how she does uh, on the next episode, which I believe will be airing on Wednesday night. So we'll definitely have to check that out. So she is off to go do that photo shoot here in the late evening, and then she'll have to come on home. Hopefully she'll get a promotion at work tomorrow. So Randy has finally gotten a promotion at work. It's Tuesday at the end of the day, and she is now able to select a branch. So with this fashion career mod, we have a designer is an option, fashion journalist is an option, or model, which of course is what we know Randy's going to pick. So we've got Randy is now a model, and when she got home from work, Paolo was just like coming here and hanging out, so that's fine. So it does look like she will have work tomorrow, so we definitely need to make sure that she uh, is well rested for her first day with a new promotion. And she's really nervous because that uh, formal wear episode is going to be airing. And she she feels really good about her photo shoot, but at the same time, she's not sure the wig's going to pull it out for her this time. She doesn't know that that's going to save her, so um, she is kind of nervous about that. What is the deal? Let's see. Can you join him and play? Can we play together? Yeah, let's join in. We all play together. Have some fun. Blow off a little bit of steam. So her career thing that she has to do, like her homework, is just to practice modeling. So <laughs> this is what it looks like to practice modeling, apparently. It's just checking yourself out in the mirror a whole bunch. So, And I love that Paolo's like, I'm just going to come and run on the treadmill. Like they're the perfect little couple together. They crack me up. Um, I don't know if I should have them like get engaged or move in together or anything like that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts about their relationship. And I also did do a little bit more thinking about uh, a pet for Randy. 
and I do think I might have her get a pet. So I'm trying to decide between a cat and a dog. She kind of strikes me as a dog person because then a dog can go running with her, but she's also gone a lot because of work and stuff. And so I don't know if that's fair to a dog, like if a cat might be easier just because it doesn't require quite as much attention. So let me know if you have any specific thoughts on that either. So whether they should move in together or get engaged and then also if we should get a dog or a cat for Miss Randy. They're so cute together, eating their little ramen here with the gorgeous night skyline in the background. I love that. Though it does sound as though Penny is having um, another one of her uh, lovely love encounters. So let's go over there and bang on the door. She is like the noisiest neighbor. It is so annoying. Oh no, and now she's starting to feel kind of sick. I think work must be stressing her out. Here, let's order her some medicine. Where we go? Purchase medicine. We'll get her one of those, and hopefully she will feel better once she's taken that. And then we're going to ask him to stay the night. Might as well. Just so they can have a little bit more time together. She's really nervous about, like I said, the, the next episode. So um, he's going to just kind of stay to, to help comfort her, you know, and, and make sure that she's doing all right. She's not feeling well, so he wants to, to kind of take care of her a little bit. All right, so it is time to air the formal wear episode. This is Randy's look, so we see what her outfit looked like. Again, they've got her in another one of those poses that's a little bit odd with her eyes closed and everything, but that's okay. Um, and they did this shoot in the city, so that was kind of fun to get to do that. And the winner is... Lola. Lola won this competition. And Randy kind of performed in the middle. She wasn't at the very bottom, but she also wasn't towards the top. So we're we're still holding steady with the competition, but we haven't quite gotten gotten the right mix of things in yet. So we'll definitely have to keep working on that, but we're at least safe for this week. So they also, as she was sitting down to watch this, they called and said that they are doing a special photo shoot tomorrow that is not going to be an elimination episode, but it's going to be about awareness for various different causes. So tomorrow they're going to be doing a photo shoot and we will get to see what Randy's uh, cause is and what she looks like for that shoot. We'll actually get several of the photos for that. So um, it's not going to air like a normal episode. So uh, tomorrow evening, we'll see what that looks like. But for now, I'm going to have her go ahead and finish her modeling practicing for the evening so that she'll be good to go for work tomorrow. Let's see. Where is or did she already do it? Maybe. I didn't think that she finished. Oh, she did finish. Excellent. Well, then she can just kind of hang out for the rest of the night and then uh, it'll be off to work again for her tomorrow. So Paolo has come over to be supportive as they do air that special episode that is the awareness episode. So I'm going to have them come on in here together and sit down to watch that episode together. So we do have a pause for a brief moment before they start watching the episode. Just a real quick heads up. Um, this is going to include some somewhat sensitive content. So if uh, things like cancer, uh, particularly breast cancer, are uh, something that you have a hard time with, you may want to just go ahead and skip to the end of this part. Um, just wanted to give you a, a quick heads up about that. So we've got Randy and Paolo have sat down and they are watching her episode Um Randy got breast cancer awareness, and as you can see from these images, um, she actually is a breast cancer survivor herself. So um, Randy has had a double mastectomy, and she's actually got a really cool tattoo that she usually kind of covers up uh, with some makeup, but she's got this really cool tattoo over her chest scars, um, and she often wears a prosthetic uh, so that she can still have breasts when she is modeling. Um, but this is her photo shoot, so she felt really honored to have the opportunity to represent breast cancer survivors everywhere by doing this photo shoot. Um, I know that this is a little interesting for you to see, uh, but this was something I was able to get through some CC, um, both the mastectomy scars as well as a whole variety of tattoos to cover them up. Um, me speaking personally, my mother actually is a breast cancer survivor and she had a double mastectomy back when I was 16. So this is something that's very close and personal to me. 
Um, my mom does not have a tattoo over her scars, but it seemed like the kind of thing that Randy would do. So I just wanted to put that out there and say thanks so much to the Sims Next Top Model competition for highlighting special issues. And particularly thanks for the opportunity for Randy to get to showcase something that's very personal to her. So now that they're done watching their little episode getting to know each other uh randy really feels like she had the opportunity to share something pretty deeply personal with paolo um so i think that she's probably feeling a lot closer to him and like she that maybe that affects whether they move in or not so um that is something just to keep in mind is that maybe she went deep enough with him that she's you know she she's shared kind of her intimate personal secrets with him so that might be an opportunity for them to actually kind of you know take their relationship to the next level but i'm gonna leave this episode here thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you supporting this series and uh checking out all of the fun new looks that i've been able to put together for randy let me know in the comments below if you think that paolo should move in or if brandy should propose and also let me know if you think that she should be getting a dog or a cat i'm definitely going to do that in the next part but again, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun Sims 4 videos. I'll see y'all later. Bye.